money is the root of all evil. You have to know what to do with money. Amen, Amen. Amen somebody. Because Amen. wherever your heart is, that's where your money is going to be. Yes. You've got to know. Somebody shout and say, I must know, I must know. What, to do what to do with my prosperity. With my prosperity. Give prosperity. God the glory. Hallelujah. Yes, glory. Hallelujah. See, when people start to prosper, they don't have time for you, God. They don't have time for you. They don't have time for you, God. They don't have time to do things for the church. They don't have time no more. They're busy. But you know what? God will take back what he gave to you. You got to be careful with that spirit. God blessed you to bring glory to him. God set your part to bring glory to him. God set your part to give you peace through the blood of Jesus Christ yes, that you would come into his kingdom and take possession of it. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That's why I made you heirs of the promise because you're going to take possession of his promise. Amen. He promised you you shall have life and have it abundance. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He promised you you'll be the head and not the tail. Hallelujah. He promised you, hallelujah, that you will have a relationship with El Shaddai. Oh, hallelujah. He hallelujah. promised you, hallelujah, that hallelujah. you would have a relationship yeah. with the Most High God hallelujah. if you receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, he promised you, hallelujah, hallelujah, that his heirs are no longer Jews or Gentiles. But the moment has come with Jesus Christ and every knee that bow and every tongue that confess that Jesus Christ is Lord would be, hallelujah, his saints. Hallelujah. 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 It's no longer Jew or Gentile. As Dr. Martin Luther King said, Protestant or Catholic is everyone that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You are a saint of the Most High God. Hallelujah. Glory to God if you don't want to praise him. Hallelujah. Yes, when you came into Hallelujah. becoming a saint of God, Hallelujah. Luke the 6th chapter, verse 20 through 36, say you become a child of God and God give you his joy. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Say he'll give you joy. That's why you're overcomers. Hallelujah. You have the joy of the Lord operating in your spirit, yes, yes, in your yes. being. You have the joy Hallelujah. of the Lord Hallelujah. in your feet. Yes, you have the joy of the Lord in your heart. You have the joy of the Lord in your mind. Lord. I don't care what happened to you, what you got to fix, say, Lord, somebody. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know my needs. You know my needs. Hey, hallelujah. hallelujah. You know my needs. You know my needs. You're an all wise God, all knowing God. Somebody talk to the Lord this morning. Thank you, Lord. Holders of the whole have been torn down, and every saint that believes in the Most High God can go to the Lord through Jesus Christ and make your petitions known unto the Lord. Glory. Thank you, Lord. What is it you need from the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. Lord, you know all my needs. Can I help somebody? Hallelujah. According to your riches and glory, speak to the Lord this morning. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know my purpose for coming here. Speak to the Lord this yes. morning. Can you hear me this morning? Hallelujah. You know my purpose. Hallelujah. You've designed and assigned me to my purpose. Somebody say, and you even call me. Hallelujah. Call me. I teach Sunday school because God called me to teach. Yes, I show up on time because God told me to be respectful of the Sunday school. Yes, Hallelujah. 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 I love God so much I got to respect his house. Hallelujah. Amen, Hallelujah. somebody. Amen. I have to respect you and you have to respect me, one another. How can we be who God called us to be when we don't love one another? We don't respect one another. The enemy is trying to operate in you, but His God's divine purpose is not allowing that to happen. Amen. He's got a message for you this morning. He said you must rise up and be a reflection of the light. He said you must reflect Mary's baby. You must reflect the Son of God. Hallelujah. You must reflect the eternal hope. Glory. You must reflect the power of God. Hallelujah. There's a reflection operating in you, and it's reconciled you unto heaven. You have a relationship with God. God has a relationship with Jesus Christ, and you have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Every demonic force that did not have a relationship with God, they ought to, were kicked out of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, the, and the heaven was made a place of peace again. 
Glory to God. And the holy angels march around the throne of God and give glory and praise to God. And we have become aware that we are children of the Most High God, that we cannot react to everything, but we must act to every force of evil and we must bind up every mountain that come against us and we must stomp the head of every demonic force and we must say, God, you have saved me by grace. You have called me into an eternal hope. Hallelujah. You allowed me to hear the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and I am who I am. Hallelujah. And I shall be what you call me to be. Hallelujah, somebody. Glory to God. Worst enemy is yourself. Hallelujah. And you must come to the understanding that you've been reconciled even to yourself. Demonic forces are trying to speak to you, but you must tell those demonic forces you can't live in this house. This house is the house of God. My body is the temple of Christ. My mind been reconciled. I have been sanctified, set apart in my mind. Hallelujah. Think on these things of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let this mind be in you which is also in God. Hallelujah. And it was also in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. This body is the temple of God. He dwells in you. His Holy Spirit rests and resides and functions inside of you. Hallelujah. That's why he walks with you and he talks with you and he tells you his, you are his own and he gave you his spirit, his nature. You cannot operate off of the old person person. Hallelujah. You have been set apart. But tell yourself. Speak to yourself. Stop wrestling with yourself. When you wrestle with yourself, you go blaming everybody else is the fault person. But the fault rests within you. You need to be reconciled with yourself. You must be at peace with yourself. You got to like yourself. You got to love yourself. Hallelujah. You don't have to look like nobody else. Look like what God has reconciled. Reflect his love. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. People don't like the way they look. But God made you the way you look. And if you don't like the way you look, you got a problem with the way God created you. You got to learn to love what God has done. Bible say you are the handiwork of God. God gave you that body. God gave you that mind. God gave you that look. Because it has a divine purpose. And when you come into the house of God and take possession of the kingdom, God will tell you why he gave you that look. He will tell you why he gave you that body. He will tell you what your purpose is. Thank you, Lord.